It's not visible to the naked eye, but a deadly fungus is eating away Abul Hussein's jute. The stem rot fungus slowly kills the fiber, attacking the core root of the plant. The quality of my harvest is just getting worse, and if I can't sell the jute I grow, how am I going to put food on the table for my family? 40 million Bangladeshis, most of them farmers, depend on the plant. Once treated, the natural fiber is exported across the world. It's used to make heavy-duty bags in South America, rugs in the Middle East, and the American automobile industry increasingly uses the natural fiber over synthetic alternatives to carpet and pad the interiors of cars. Last year, Bangladesh exported more than a billion dollars worth of jute. But the stem rot fungus is having a devastating effect on production, shrinking output by 30% and reducing the quality of the fiber. The fungus breeds in the soil and is very difficult to get rid of. Hussein has been struggling with it. This year, he sold the fiber for only 25 cents a kilo, well below market value. If only they could get rid of the fungus, then these farmers would be getting a better price for the fiber. And that's exactly what a team of Bangladeshi scientists set out to do. In a major breakthrough, they've decoded the DNA makeup of jute and of the fungus. Bangladeshi scientists have used that knowledge to develop a superior quality jute used to make blue jeans. Ultimately, um, industry will benefit because they will get the uh, pure fiber from this. The fungus affects other crops like rice, maize, soya bean and cotton. The discovery will help millions of farmers across the world to get a better harvest. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Narshindi, Bangladesh.